All right, y'all. According to AP News, four men were arrested in the overdose death of actor Michael K. Williams. The four were charged in a criminal complaint unsealed Tuesday in a Manhattan federal court in a narcotics conspiracy alleging the distribution of fentanyl-laced heroin that resulted in the death of Williams. What are your thoughts on arrests actually being made in this case? All right. So I I have to be and I I do not want to be insensitive in this case whatsoever. I'm just thinking out loud and y'all please don't shoot me in the foot. When I first heard this story, a part of me was like, I mean, he was doing an illegal substance and, you know, like it's not regulated. I mean, and this is just what happens when people do drugs. Uh, you know, I, I I don't know what I was thinking, but then when I read the story, what what side sealed and delivered my stance on them um, arresting these guys for it was the fact that after he died from the fentanyl overdose, they continued to distribute heroin lace fentanyl in the broad daylight. And I was just like, okay, yeah, like, like they doing crime, crime, crime. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is going to sound so insensitive. I don't mean to sound, I don't mean it for it to, but at the end of the day, you take a risk when you buying street drugs off the street. I mean, they're drug dealers. They're not the damn FDA. So, what are you expecting? But I am glad that the family can get some justice in this. And I am glad that these people are taken off the street, distributing this fentanyl laced heroin to the general public because it is a health issue. Okay. Al, what do you think? Yeah, fuck it. I, I totally feel your uh, conflict here because number one, he shouldn't be doing drugs. All right. He shouldn't be doing illegal drugs or abusing illegal drugs. That's number one. Number two, though, I didn't like how the federal government used Michael K. Williams you know, as the celebrity to get this thing in the press. So <clears throat> they've been chasing this family. It's a drug lord uh, family uh, in Brooklyn that they've been chasing for years, for months. They've been tapping places. They, they, they've even sold drugs, uh, had informants to sell drugs to, I mean, to buy drugs from these the kingpins. So <clears throat> I didn't like the way they attached them finally cracking down on this drug pen on Michael or attaching it to Michael Williams. <clears throat> the other thing is that I felt some kind of way about was I really don't, I'm not sure that I support, you know, them being charged with the death because that means what kind of precedence is that setting? Does that mean if the, you can sell drugs as long as you're not killing people? I mean, what kind of message are we sending out here? Like they caught him. They finally arrested the kingpin because he killed somebody. I'm confused. So that was kind of confusing to me also. So, yeah, I can see why you're conflicted on it too, Bucky. Yeah, unless he didn't know it was laced with fentanyl and he wouldn't buy it. He bought heroin and not heroin laced with fentanyl. But like Funky said, it is a risk that you take. Yeah. Um, sad story all the way around. But um, on a high note, before we go to commercial break, Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached 3,000.